Imagine that tomorrow Elon Musk invents a time machine and he uses it to go back just 20 years and bring someone from 2001 to 2021. Imagine how this person would feel. He has never seen YouTube, a smartphone, yet alone a speaker that talks back to you. Today there are self-driving cars, walk-in, walk-out, no-checkout supermarkets, orders delivered straight to your doorstep by drones and deep fake AI that's become so sophisticated that it's hard to tell apart from a real Hollywood actor. When we talk about the future of automation and the rise of robots, sometimes we fail to realize that this future might already be here. Artificial intelligence is playing a bigger role in all our lives every single day and it's replacing many jobs that people rely on to pay their bills. And while it's really hard to estimate the full consequences of this process, some studies suggest that automation could kill as many as 800 million jobs. But is this a threat to your job? Is there a chance that soon you wouldn't be able to compete with the AI and computers and you will be left with no income? And finally, what can you do in order to not be replaced by a machine tomorrow? We'll explore these and much more in this video, so boot up as we dive into the past, present and future of man versus machine. How about a technology takeover? Artificial intelligence or artificial intelligence? Robot automation. Automation will put 45 million people out of work by Robots the year 2030. Human level brain function. So does that mean it could take a human's job like mine? You better believe it. Look, machines increasingly doing the work of humans. How technology is going to replace people. anxieties around automation and the loss of jobs are not modern at all. In 1698, an English engineer and inventor, Thomas Savory, patented a metal automation that would go on to reshape the world in the next two centuries. It affected every aspect of human society, but most of all, it changed the way people worked. This was the first modern steam engine and with its invention for the first time in history, the power that people use for transportation, building, farming and producing goods was no longer coming from the human muscles. In November 1811, a group that called themselves the Luddites started attacking textile factories in England and breaking these machines. These were self-organized bands of workers who were so terrified that this machinery would replace them and they'll be left behind with no means to feed their families. And these fears were credible. In just a few decades, steam power tools had overtaken most of the jobs previously done by workers. However, what the Luddites didn't see coming were all the new jobs and opportunities that these machines would bring. But the challenge you and I are facing today is a little bit different. The adoption of technology today is not only replacing the human muscle, but it's also replacing the human mind. The device you're watching this video on right now was mostly built by robots with parts produced in automated factories with materials mined by machines. The content you see every time you open any social media app has been selected for you by an applied AI based on your history with the sole purpose to keep you scrolling. But at the same time, AI is making more and more specialized workers obsolete and at an alarming rate. AI and robots have now taken over thousands of jobs that were previously considered impossible for a computer to do and like it or not, they are here to stay and they're going to take over thousands and thousands of more jobs. 
self-driving cars and warehouse robots are becoming more efficient and widespread each year and this is putting income of millions of people in danger. Manufacturing is also being automated at an accelerating rate and factories often function with just a few workers overseeing and maintaining an army of robots. Administrative and supporting services are one of the biggest industries in almost every developed country. Still, experts predict that anywhere between 30 and 40% of jobs in the sector can be taken over by robots by 2035. Even professions such as financial services and accounting are being automated and many tasks are now performed by software. Now, while it may seem like every white or blue collar job and every industry is in danger, but is that really true? Or are there certain traits that make our jobs more vulnerable to automation? Computers are great at repetitive tasks. If a job requires you to do something over and over again without improvising or thinking too much, chances are that it can and it soon will be performed by machines. There are some features of a job that makes it almost impossible to automate and we'll look at those in the next minute. The famous entrepreneur and investor Naval Ravikan suggests that you should always strive to develop skills that can't be taught. Such skills are persuasion, problem solving, emotional intelligence, leadership, creativity and so on. Another thing that makes a job safe is if it heavily relies on human connection. Think of a bartender, a hairdresser, a kindergarten teacher or psychologist. Another profession that can sleep well at night is the creative. Even though there are algorithms that create logos, compose music or even write stories, creative work has always been about expressing yourself about sharing a piece of truth from the artist's unique point of view. And bots can't express anything emotional. What they can do well is recognize patterns and build a story that's well structured or a song that doesn't sound random. But they can't create great experiences like creating a radio show or producing a podcast all on their own. Remember the Luddites in England who tried to save their jobs by attacking factories and damaging machines? Eventually they lost and automation won. This has happened every time in history when a new, more efficient technology is introduced. While there can be some initial resistance, eventually the people who learn to work with automation and robots rather than against it end up reaping the rewards of technological progress. But today opportunities are literally everywhere. But let me ask you this question. Imagine that you go back to 1999 and you want to shoot a bird's eye footage of some landmarks in your area and create a beautiful montage. You want to use the montage to advertise your local business. First, you'll need a pilot and a cameraman who is ready to risk his life shooting with a 16 pound camera hanging from the side of a helicopter. Then you'll need a professional video editor to create the montage. And now let's come back to 2021 and let's do the same thing. All you need is some drone footage. You can hire someone to shoot it for about 150 bucks. Video editing software is widely available or you can reach out to a professional online. And finally, you have social media where you can reach millions of people and it's for free. So a project that would have costed you hundreds of thousands of dollars just 20 years ago, you could complete today for less than 300 bucks. Not to mention the risk for the cameraman or the reduced carbon footprint of the helicopter compared that of a small drone all because of automation and machinery. 
So what are the best ways to take advantage of this robot army and seize the wave of automation? Tech companies are growing and dominating every single industry. So what are some of the best opportunities in today's age? One of the best skills you can learn today is learning how to code, as more and more of our daily lives and work involves around machines and algorithms. Having said that, if coding is not right for you, there are many other opportunities in tech, such as design, testing, project management, or even HR. But listing all the career opportunities that technology has created is a topic that deserves a video of its own. The world today is changing ever so rapidly and AI and robots are here to stay. But this is only a threat if we resist this change. Instead, we can embrace the change and use it to help us create better jobs and living standards for all people. The future is here, my friends, and it's ours for the taking. All right, friends, if you're pumped up and ready to start using the bots for the good of humanity, start by clicking the like button and subscribe to my channel. This helps the YouTube robots know that this video is helpful, interesting, and worth recommending to more people. By also leaving a comment, you really attract the algorithm's attention. And also, if there's a topic that you would like me to cover, please let me know in the comment below. That's it for today, friends. And remember, you can achieve whatever you want in life. The world is your oyster. For now, my friends, stay sharp and I'll catch you in the next one.